Hello everyone! Welcome! I am Keely and this is The Kept Kind. I know you're new here because I'm new here. I'm going to be making videos about thrifting, secondhand, vintage fashion and styling, home decor, DIY projects, all that kind of stuff. So if that sounds like your vibe, please subscribe. Today I'm going to show you my latest thrift haul. It's a lot of stuff because it's basically the best of the best of my past three or four thrift trips and I'll show y'all my personal style and how I'm going to wear these pieces. I have these incredible wedge sandal espadrilles. They have this awesome bright orange ribbon detail and anything that's a wedge I'm going to be drawn to. And this is going to be my latest addition to my vintage handbag collection. You can see some of them up here. I love vintage handbags. This little guy you just, I mean, look at him. He's so cute. $4.99. Thank you, Salvation Army. These are definitely going to be huge for me in the fall. There's cat hair on them. These are by Clark's. They look like they've hardly ever been worn. Maybe never. In fact, there's a sticker on the bottom. I got them for $6.99. I'm gonna wear these all fall because they'll be comfy, they'll be cute, and they'll be worn because they're suede. <gasps> all leather, and it has its original tag inside. This is Janice Mooney for First and Mooney. 70s. It doesn't look like it has ever been used. It's an incredible, incredible shape. Look at these colors. Stop it. It's just so beautiful. Great addition to my vintage handbag collection. And I know I got a great deal at $4.99. I just was editing and found that the whole section where I talk about tops and jackets was just gone. Bear with me. So first we have this free people top. It was actually new with tags. This is like t-shirt material. It's stretchy. It's got this sort of 1940s styling, the way it's cut. It's a beautiful, simple top that would elevate basically any look. Quite a fun little wild card here. This sweater with fuzzy sequined penguins. It's got these faux pearls all along the entire edge and it's just a little much, a little tacky, but I'm not afraid of that. Another simple basic, I think this is probably a 90s little mock neck t-shirt. I think it's really versatile and really pretty, just a simple piece that can be worn through multiple seasons. Just a good staple. I love this blouse. So I'm a sucker for silk all day, every day, particularly 80s blouses. This is a Mary McFadden. It's got these beautiful colors in it, gathering and slight puff to the sleeves, little covered buttons here. It's just really beautiful. I can see it tucked into something. I am obsessed with it. It's, it's definitely one of my best finds in a long time. This is a House of Harlow and Revolve top. It's cropped and it's got these little ties in the front to kind of cinch the waist in. It's got this really fun pattern to it of like 3D little sparkly dots. The sleeves are completely sheer, lantern sleeves, really simple but really, really chic. You could do this with jeans, you could do this with a skirt, you could do this with a tailored black pant. One of those pieces that I'm really excited to have in my wardrobe. This is another sort of vintage style. A lot of detail, covered buttons on the wrist, covered buttons at the waistline, a peplum. I actually love the shoulder pads. It's not a huge shoulder pad, just kind of an understated one. Just a really, really pretty piece, especially I think for fall. Another item of clothing that I'm a definite sucker for is a short-sleeved sweater. I think 70s or 80s. It's just a perfect little bright red candy apple.
sweater. I know I will wear it all the time as I do with the rest of my short sleeve sweaters. Last but not least is this piece that just has these absolutely beautiful nubby little palms almost in these beautiful colors. It's actually a pretty open knit, so I think this would be really comfortable on nights where it's just that little bit of nip in the air. And I think it'll be just a perfect little thing to throw on when I'm a little chilly to add some color to my fall wardrobe, but also be warm and cozy and look put together. These pants were folded over the center little bar in the shirts section. They were hidden high-waisted, fully beaded, incredible black pants. They're 100% silk. $5.99. You kidding me? But seriously, you've got to check everywhere. I briefly mentioned that I've told myself for years that I cannot wear earth tones, particularly brown. It's just this lovely little midi. It's so soft, Ralph Lauren. It's lovely and it's brown and I'm gonna wear it. Party dress. Look at these fun little rhinestones, all different colors. This is like if seventh grade me could have picked out a dress this would very possibly be it. And I'm obsessed. This baby, gorgeous, full length. In fact, so full length that my little petite self is going to take it to the tailor, probably early 2000s. It has the label cut out. It's like glam without trying. This is one of those vintage little jumpsuits. I think it's a perfect beach cover up. It's not like amazing quality or anything, but I think it would be so cute to throw on over your swimsuit. You could do the whole like 1950s scarf thing. Oh, I, I'm speechless. This little darling dress is the most incredible vintage, floral, psychedelic amazingness. Oh, I love it so much. Love these big, dreamy lotus flowers at the bottom. It may technically be a nightgown, but I'm gonna wear it as a dress for possibly the rest of my life because it is sheer perfection. This is and other stories which i have never found at the thrift store i can't wait to try this on for you guys because when i did try it on it's gorgeous it's one of those things that tricks you on the hanger it looks kind of like nothing special and then you put it on and it's like oh my god beautiful if you follow me on instagram you may have seen it already this is a john roberts petite jumpsuit it's probably missing some little belt but i wear it with a snake chain belt and it's so pretty gold thread stretchy top it's so cute it fits me like a dream so that's the haul part of this video these are all my goodies that I'm now going to put on and show you guys how I'm gonna wear them out in my real life and wait till you see it so I'm gonna show you how I would style all these things for fall. The way I like to style an outfit is head to toe, complete everything, jewelry, handbag, shoes, everything. The last little bit, I think it's gonna be maybe three or four outfits are not fall at all. I'm engaged, we got engaged um, on New Year's Eve, 2020, 2021. We still don't have any concrete plans, but what we do know we want to do is go elope somewhere. The last few outfits that I styled are like resort wear or what I would wear on vacation. All that being said, let's see these outfits I styled for fall and a little bit of a honeymoon situation, dreaming of what might be in my hopefully not too far future. 
So this is the first outfit. This is that Free People shirt that's got that sort of 1940s um, design, but it's like a t-shirt, it's super comfy. This is a Nanette Lepore, I think it's like a faux cashmere. I got it at the end of winter last year at the thrift store. I have my vintage, I think this is a 1940s beaded handbag. And I have my little Betty Page shoes. This is totally me because it's very matchy matchy with all of the royal blue throughout. But it is a mix and match of modern, vintage, different eras. I think this is just like a perfect fall outfit and I can't wait to wear it. Here's outfit number two. It is that amazing but completely ridiculous penguin sweater. I'm so in love with it. It's so whimsical and fun. I am wearing it with these really fun little rhinestone stretchy bracelets that are in pastel and aurora borealis stones. 80s sequin and pearl earrings that are just too perfect for this. It's just too much. This 1950s vinyl faux patent leather box purse. Pointy heels from Aldo that of course I thrifted. And it does give me this whole outfit with my jeans cuffed and everything. These are made well um, that I also thrifted. It gives me vibes of like 1950s sweater girl or kind of a rockabilly thing, but my version of that. I love this. Let's see what's next. Here's outfit number three. It is one of my favorites. I love this turtleneck t-shirt so much. I didn't really know how much I was gonna like it, but once I put it with 80s or 90s Liz Claiborne skirt and these amazing Sam Edelman shoes and this 1940s Delisle handbag, it just all came together. Yeah, I'm really digging this look. The shoes are velvet, which helps with the whole cozying it up. This outfit makes me want to party. I love an all black outfit. It is just so chic. This is those incredible silk beaded pants. House of Harlow, sheer, sparkly sleeve, cropped amazingness. I paired it with another vintage beaded handbag. Those Aldo pointy toe shoes because they're just basically perfect with everything. Snake chain and rhinestone earrings, also probably vintage. This adorable little champagne brooch. Perfect for a night out and it's slightly sparkly with just the right amount of accessories that just bring on the bling. I love it. Okay, we're switching it up because the sun is coming in across my room and it's driving me nuts. This is our next outfit. This is that gorgeous peplum top that I am so in love with with these mustard polka dots on this deep, deep, deep emerald green and it's just perfection. I paired it with these navy blue um, bell bottoms that are actually from Chico's, but of course I thrifted them. I'm wearing those Clark's multicolored shoes. My vintage Judy and Burke little tassel earrings and freshwater pearls in a very fall color. Wait for it. I'm going to make it even more perfect for fall. How perfect is this? With me, it's all about matchy matchy. So now I have the navy blue with my pants and the shoes. The green is in the shoes. This beautiful burgundy color is in the shoes. Oh, and I have to show you this pin. One of my favorite things that I've ever owned in my life. What is he? What is this little guy? There's a green one too that I'll show you guys someday. I think this might be my favorite look of all of them. Who was I kidding? This is why I can't have favorites ever. That last outfit versus this outfit are in completely different realms, but I am obsessed with both of them. Purple is my most favorite color. Can't have many favorites. Purple's one of them. I did completely simple jewelry. Well, simple for me. Did these massive Capiz shell earrings. Obsessed, obsessed with this outfit. It's just so me. It's so beautiful. I'm so comfortable. This is like the stretch knit skirt and the silk top. I am in heaven.
let's talk about this outfit. So this is that short sleeve little sweater that I just love so much. I think it's probably 80s, but I have put it with just some high rise, um, kind of cropped high water jeans. These are actually the Amanda Cut by Gloria Vanderbilt, which I thrift anytime I find them because they fit me so well. I have my Superga's that started my entire collection. I've had these for well over a decade now. They were given to me by someone who was like a mentor and boss when I was in college. When I worked at Victoria's Secret and Belk at the Lancome counter, she was my boss at both of those places. These Superga's, the solid red, these started my whole collection. I probably have 20 pair now. I have my little 1960s candy dot purse. This one is one of several in my collection. This one's reversible. A little wooden bangle that's hand painted and these earrings that were actually my mom's. Let's see what's next. Another all black number that is just perfect for almost any occasion. Sarah Campbell stretchy as all get out. They're almost like a cigarette pant. A Brooks Brothers cashmere sweater on and this really colorful jacket that I showed you all in my thrift haul with my little owl handbag. I love the color in this. There's so many pretty colors in here that can be pulled into whatever accessories you have on. Let's see what's next. Jingle jingle. This is the one that is by and other stories. What I wanted to do was instead of focusing on the black that I see overwhelmingly in this dress, I wanted to pull out a lot of the white that I see in the flowers. I put on a white sash, this really fun metal mesh Whiting and Davis knockoff bag, cloisonne bangles. I have them in black and white white earrings that are inlaid with abalone and of course the pièce de résistance these incredible 80s cowboy boots that just make me incredibly happy anytime i wear them they've got this crazy fringe they are bright white and they have studs and cut out you couldn't ask for more so yeah this is my take on a dress that could be styled in a very different way I am having so much fun with this outfit and I think it's perfect for that early fall weather. One of the most perfect jumpsuits I have ever found in my entire life. A little bit of gold sparkliness on the top here. So I just decided to pull out all the stops and be, as B. Jones would say, as gaudy gold as I could possibly be. So gold shoes, a real Whiting and Davis, vintage handbag, two snake chains, a snake chain belt, and snake chain earrings, and I have a little unicorn brooch on. Another early fall transitional outfit that I am loving. This Ralph Lauren piece is just so beautiful and comfortable. This thing that I'm wearing over it was part of a three-piece set that I picked up at the thrift store. It's a Shein piece and I actually really love it. I'm wearing it with a um, gold stone bracelet and earrings. I have on a necklace that my future sister-in-law picked out for me and a vintage brooch. I have one of my favorite pairs of shoes, these BCBG. There's this blue and green and brown in them and they're just perfect. And then I have one of my little vintage coach purses in this cream color. I really love this. Now we're gonna take a cleansing breath and move on to these dreaming of tropical island paradise outfits. <sighs> if my little elementary and middle school self could see this outfit right now, she would cry out of pure joy and self gratification. I, I pulled on all these little fun color gems that are on this dress and I'm wearing some of my most fun, colorful rhinestone jewelry on my wrist, on my neck, and on my earrings. I popped the pink color that's in here with this beaded little crossbody and these Sam Edelman shoes. 
I know that I am about to be 35 and I don't care if this is age inappropriate. I think it's perfect. I feel confident. I feel great in it. And this is why I don't follow fashion rules. Exhibit A. This gives me 90s Condé Nast vacation photo feelings. I know, I have to get it shortened. I put it with these 90s sandy colored chunky heels. I have a Swarovski Aurora Borealis necklace and earrings and one of my very favorite seed bead vintage 1950s handbags. I love that it is extremely neutral, but super glam. It is vacation perfection. I really am this extra when I am on vacation. This is one of my favorite swimsuits. It is not thrifted. I'm wearing it with um, this abalone inlay cuff and earrings that bring in this black and white pattern as well as my shoes which are Sam Edelman platforms that have this zebra black and white goodness and this straw bag which I'm going to put down for the moment because I want to show you how versatile this Piece is. Right now I'm wearing it as high-waisted pants that I have just wrapped the straps around at high waist. It's really low in the back. This is so cool because you can do all kinds of different things with it. You can go over one shoulder and just sort of drape it around like so, which gives you this like me party, black and white, half and half kind of feeling. You could just go good old halter just like this is. Another way that I really like to do this is just straight over your shoulder so you still have that black and white showing. And then around this way. You could wear it so many different ways and be comfortable and versatile while you are sunning yourself on your tropical vacation. Last but not least, this is definitely one of my favorites. This is so me on vacation, just like as bright and bold and colorful as I could possibly get. This dress is so amazing on its own, but why not make it even more epic with all the accessories? Another one of my little vintage candy bead bags, orange silk wrap Uggs that I showed in my thrift haul, and then lots of colorful accessories going on. This is so comfortable and bright and sunny and colorful and happy and it just makes me want to be on a beach somewhere enjoying a cocktail and watching the sun, watching the ocean waves. Thank you so much for being here for my YouTube premiere. If you liked this video and got something out of it, please like and subscribe. As you know, I'm a newbie and I need all the love I can get. Also, let me know what your favorite look was in the comments down below. I've linked all my socials in the description box as well as a link to my Etsy shop, The Kept Kind. That's where you can find my curated collection of vintage goodies such as clothing, accessories, home decor, and more. I update the shop every second Saturday of every month. Thanks again for being here. I'm Keely. This is The Kept Kind. Remember to use what you have, keep what you love, wear what you want, and always be kind. I'll see you next time.